One of the things I started doing when I first moved away to New England in 1999 was to just get in the car and go. No map, no one else in the car, and just drive. Only taking back roads, and I'd be back when I'd be back. Now, many years have passed since then, and life happened as did this little career here. But the thing is, I'm still just getting in the car and driving. And on this particular morning, I made my way south down to Irving and Silver Creek as I heard there was something I needed to see there. I headed down Route 20 until it intersected at a roundabout on my way down to Silver Creek. But about a quarter mile or so past the roundabout, I happened to run across a sign that was pointed to a horse show. So, how could I resist? It was a pretty soggy gray afternoon when I arrived, and it seemed like the horse show was going to be a no-show. But I quickly found out it was actually just getting going. The show was just getting to its peak when I realized what time it was and that I had to get going if I was going to make it to my next location in order to film there for the rest of the day. Just a stone's throw from Lake Erie, within the town of Hanover, lies the village of Silver Creek. If we go back far enough in history, we learn that Silver Creek was actually once a tiny milling town with just a few rows of homes, a general store, and a few taverns. The first settlers came from New England and had fought in the Revolutionary War, purchasing 600 acres after the war from the Holland Land Office and built the first grist mill for grinding corn in the area. Both Walnut Creek and the town's namesake, Silver Creek, run right through the village. The town of Hanover's first settlement was actually right where the village sits now. Incorporated in 1848, the town served as an important port on Lake Erie until the inevitability of the railroads. The village is home to a skew arch railway bridge. Built in 1869, the bridge is similar to only two others in the world. A skew arch differs from a regular arch in that the outside angles are parallel but not at right angles. And one of the most beautiful things about the bridge here really wasn't the bridge itself, but the beach and the launch area. I actually spent the better part of an hour filming there that afternoon and fell in love with the place. I even managed to capture a train shuffling over one of the arches and a mama goose who seemed to be keeping roost for not only her chicks, but for every other bird in her vicinity that afternoon. Oh, and that thing that I was tipped off about to make this trip in the first place? It was the arch bridge. And even though it was great to see and was quite impressive, I had no idea the beach and launch area were here at all, and I think I found a new, out-of-the-way favorite place in western New York to come every now and then, at least when I'm down here, and that's why I do what I do. It's always an adventure.